2003 and especially in the south. You may have heard on the news how the flood situation has escalated and we're not out of the woods. The Met Office have now issued a severe weather warning for more rain to come. Very wet in areas already affected, particularly southern England and south Wales, so further flooding seems certain and dangerous driving conditions too. In fact, that rain is already showing on the radar picture just off the southwest of England and that's going to come into other southern areas as we go through the night. We've also got some rain in the north, a little bit of patchy sleet and snow on the hills as it comes across the colder air and sandwiched in between. We've got some patchy fog to watch for if you're travelling as well. So some hazardous driving conditions first thing. Not only will it be wet, there'll be excesses spray and standing water and it'll be very windy too through the channel. Severe gales for the Channel Islands are real battering for northern France. So a thoroughly miserable start and for many of us to the day and for many of us of course it's the return to work. Wet and windy in the weather in the south, some patchy fog but drier in central regions and then we come up against that cold air with patchy rain, sleet and snow in the north. In fact as the day goes on and the cold air starts to push a little further southwards there's increasing risk of some snow even at lower levels across Scotland. It turns brighter with squally showers in the west and the south and still relatively mild here despite the wind and the rain. A biting wind though in the north and it's the last mild day really in the south because the risk of sleet and snow extends to northern Ireland, northern England, eventually the Midlands by the end of the day on Friday. Much drier but much colder this weekend. Bye-bye.